shit. Bruh. They just mess with your air, the hardest shoes, man. Damn, man. They just messed with my shoes. You want a new pair? Hell yeah, nigga. I want a new pair. <laughs> oh, Lord. I hate people with talent. They could get you in it. Abino wants the ball. You want the ball? Come get it. You want the ball? <laughs> Come get the ball. You know what? Let me handle this business first. Guys are pussies. Koi! Okay, so I heard you guys really love the game. So let's see how many of you is in love with the game right now. Koi! Don't it happen like that? Eh? Huh? Don't it happen like that? What the fuck? What were you doing out there? Hmm? What were you doing? You're trying to be competition? The only competition I have is six feet down. And they will stay like that. Nigga, this is my court. My kingdom. I run the streets. I catch you around here again, you will die, you understand? Koi! Koi! What? What you trying to do? Why are you holding him? Let him be! Come on! Come on, pretty boy, what you trying to do? Why are you holding him? What you holding him for? Leave him! He gets not in love with the game anymore. Let's see what you get. You know what? Run them out of the court. It's okay. Nigga, shut him out this game. Yes, yeah, so. Let's start your line. Bro. 
Who are you boning? Let me this short stuff of a person who thinks because he has a gun on campus he can run everybody down. A gun? Who has a gun? See them, see them, look at them, he and his boys. They just think they are the shit, they are so jealous of us. He's part of this uh, cult on this campus, he just think he can just kill everybody here. Cult? Cult? I just get cult? Sweetie, Who's a cult? Sweetie, Michael, are, you, are you out of your mind? Sweetie, there are a lot of them around here, just be, be, keep it low. I, could, I, can, I can handle it, sweetie. I, can you please leave this place now that you're done with your training? My goodness, I cannot believe you're not scared. It's fine. Can it's we leave? Let's go. Let's my get, God. Let me get my bag. Let me get my bag. Let's go. I cannot believe you're not scared. I blame you. I don't blame you. Eh? All you know is how to waste my money without knowing how much I toiled to get this money. To read your books? Mbano, you can't. Look at the shameful result you get for your work. Huh? How about who are you scolding again? Who yeah. is your block headed sister, Ndidi? Eh? I told you, this girl is a failure. The, the work result is now out. She didn't pass her papers. Check it from her now. Let me see. Give me. You are disgraced. You see? You didn't even get two credits. Oh. Not even two? You see? So what have you been doing? You only got credit in Igbo. And that's because I'm sure the, 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 the judge decided to dash it to you because you speak the language. What's wrong with you? Indeed, it's okay. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself. Maybe you'll try again. Auntie, I tried my best. I did all I could. But I don't know, I'm tired. No, you can't be tired. Because quitters are failures. Just dust yourself up and try again. That's the word. Auntie, I know, but the problem is that my father will not give me another money for my work. Do you blame him? Will you blame him? Oh. Okay. Mike is going to be coming to my house tomorrow. I will give him money to give to you for your wife from. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Come to your house. I don't get that time. I beg. I go shower. Now please now. It's okay. My guy, I don't understand. Eh? This guy we they call himself Supremo. Supremo of an idiot. He just did threaten me. Left, right, centre. Everywhere I go past, he go threaten me. For what? Cause him say, what you do? Mike, are you not in this school? Eh? You they talk as if say you don't know this guy. Can't you see that it's obvious that this guy is fucking jealous of you? Bam. The guy they verse now. He they jealous, over jealous. They worry him. Jealousy, you know. bad belly people. No problem. Jealousy is allowed, but do your own. Make people see your own and appreciate your own. Come do him. Me will see. Leave person, make person do your own, follow the go, do your own. Everybody know this guy for this campus. We know what he's capable of doing. This guy will go any fucking line to make sure that guy you come off a road for him. It won't happen. It won't happen. It won't happen. Uh, Let me be now. Mike. Now you know. Let me be Mickey. Eh? Feel Don't you. feel my swagger. Wow, you feel up. It won't happen. Ha. But until I know see, uh, my man no see God there outside for this game. Ha. For this game, we don't win. Uh, forget this guy. We, they, they just they do. My man, we are there. Huh? Just there, man. <laughs> no problem. Mm. You know, may, may, may I just they go crash? No, nothing to you, man. Eh? Just... I'll see you for training grounds. I love my brother. No wala, man. Chuck don't start up on there. Chuck up. I go crash. Tomorrow. Yeah. Prepare yourself, oh. Nah, nothing to you, now. I don't forget. I don't come out now. What has come over you, my dear, that you went ahead to threaten a fellow student, knowing fully well that both of you have equal rights? I didn't threaten anybody. You know, <laughs> we, we, we had a little um, altercation, if you like. And then, now I spoke to him man to man. How was I to know that he ran here like a scared little kitten? Chang shit. Just watch yourself talk. Hmm? You even have the nerves to sit there and lie to me. Now, get out. 
Come, listen. And listen good. When this happens next time, I won't take it lightly. Your father's relationship with the VC and his position in the state is none of my business. This is school and it's all school affairs. If you want to wield powers, you go back home and do that. Is that clear? Crystal. Now get out. What kept you so long? <laughs> Girl, I got in there and overheard them discussing on how the deal shattered on the almighty supremo this morning. Really? Yes. And I think it's about this Nuga competition. He deserves it. I mean, sentiments apart. He's such a terrible person. Well, I, I feel he's envious of Mike. Betty, can we discuss people who are leaving and forget about the dead? Okay. Can I pack my car anyway? There. They just won't let me play Nancy, let's go. Bye. Oh, I'll call you back. Bye. 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 Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You've laid your complaint, and everybody have heard you. But you have to take things easy. I mean, don't turn this thing into a larger battlefield than what it is already. That guy is insane. I mean, picking up a ball and burning it to flames, that's madness. It obviously shows he has something up his sleeves. Why don't you just let this go, please? Just back out and let things be. Nancy, I don't care what he intends to do or who he thinks he is. He should put the gun down and face me like a man. He should just face me, put the gun down and face me. That's what I'm saying. 
I am the team leader of this team. The school authorities give me that authority. And I'm taking my team to the competition. I will not step down for him or for anyone. What do you stand to gain, Mike? What do you stand to gain from this competition? Fine! Two years, you won the Nougat game. All over the papers, magazines, radios, and television. Like I didn't deserve it? You did deserve it, Mike. But not at the expense of your life. You have to let this go. Michael, I love you. I love you so much, and I'm only saying this for your own safety. Forget about the games and face your studies. Please, I beg you. Nancy, I will not step down for him or for anyone. This is my team and we are going to the competition and we will win. Period. Now, can we stop talking about this? I'm done with this conversation. Can we go? Thank you. I think it's important that you also get to know about it. It's about Supremo. We were training on the basketball court. He came there, got the ball, and put it on fire. What? And I think this is a very serious case that you need to know about. This same boy again, doesn't he think of his future? What will become of him if he leaves the institution without a certificate? No, no, no. The VC must hear of this. This boy is becoming too much out of hand. And we just have to check him before he gets totally out of hand. Like I said, the VC must hear of this. And if care is not taken, he will face the Senate this time around. Don't worry. Thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Don't worry. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'll leave now. Okay. Huh? Solomon Peter Smohan. Are you the only student in the school? Are you? The allegations have been leveled against you. Is it true? I ask you, is it true? It's not true. What? When I have enough evidence before me to prove it? I think you are a big disappointment. Upon all I did for you, not to get expelled from the school because of my relationship with your father, you don't take my leniency for cowardice. No, I would not accept that. All right? And I want to tell you and your father right here that this is a school issue and not a bloody political forum. Get that into your head. Now get out of my office. Get out, you good for nothing, boy. I said, leave. I just saw him walking out of your office without showing any remorse. From all indications, that young man meant all his actions. Does it mean that his case is beyond our control? Not exactly, Mr. Ahmed. For Christ's sake, sir, this young man is supposed to abide by the rules and regulations of this institution. Calm down. Let us, let us think of what to do to help him, okay? Let's encourage him to raise a parallel team that will contest alongside Mike's team. Won't that cause another havoc? Is there anything you're afraid of? Oh, come on, Mr. Ahmed. Remember this young man went as far as setting fire on the school board 
in spite of my advice and warning. You are right, Miss Hamlet. But I still insist that we should make him be a competitor. Yes. So that if he fails in the end, he will have nobody to blame. All right, sir. Your wish is always my command. But, sir, remember, this is not the best way to treat students. Oh, come on, Miss Ahmed. Watch your tongue. I'm sorry, sir. Better be. Good day. Thank you, sir. So, Michael. You mean to tell me that all you do in the school is to learn how to play basketball? Instead of you! Instead of you, Michael! To concentrate on what you went there to do! How? Huh. Oh. How? I toiled day in and day out so as to send you to school and to put you in line with your mates so that in future you take care of me. Have you forgotten your family background? Look at your sister. Look at her. Who will train her in future? It is you, Michael. Oh, Michael. Why have you decided to be a disappointment to your father? Papa, why are you saying all of this now? Why are you saying this? What do we... Ah! I'm going help strike that you are lying lips. If you just calm down, I will explain to you what is happening. Basketball has done things for me now. You see? Just calm down. What, what do you want to explain? What do you want to explain? You want to explain that I sent you to school to go and learn how to play basketball? Uh, please, no. Papa, I Allow me to talk to him. Talk sense in him. <laughs> anyway, I know what to do. Tomorrow, I shall be in your school and talk to your principal. Papa, you're not going anywhere. Please, and besides, he's being called VC, not principal. Whatever he is being called, I don't care. All I want him to understand is that he should listen to me properly. Look at him, he wants to send me to my early grave. But stop all this now, eh? Neighbors are listening to me, please. Neighbors, he wants to disgrace me. Now, I will disgrace him first. Yes, I'll disgrace him first. Huh? No, 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 leave me. Hello? Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. That's very wonderful. In a month's time? Does that mean we should be expecting you? Oh, good then. Oh, she's right here with me. Okay, till then, good. Take good care of yourself, all right? Bye. So, who is that? Guess who? Mom, you know I can't guess. Who is that? Your elder brother. He's coming here in a month's time. He has one good month to spend with us. A whole month? Yeah, how about that? I hope you didn't forget to ask him to buy me some goodies. Oh my gosh. What goodies? I beg you. Mom. Mm. Young woman, give me a break. Wait till he comes, alright? Go and give me water to drink. Mom, you have to call him back and ask him to buy me some good things. I sure will. Just go and give me water to drink. I promise. Gosh. Promise. I promise. I promise. Gosh. I can't believe it. Yes. <laughs> Look at you now. Didn't I warn you? Hmm? All you had to do was take the money. But no, you wanted to be all that. Huh? Uh, what were you feeling like LeBron James? MVP? Huh? I told you I'd run this shit, didn't I? Free me. Free you? Free me. Free you. I'm gonna be all up in you. I'll be no ass to your deceased. Free me now, free me now. Come back, man. Right? Oui. You can't. I, I thought you said you had all the sport. Eh? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. What are you doing? What she do? Get this bitch! No! 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 Yeah.
Now my brother tell me something. Eh? Now that that fool, that biggest fool Supremo has been awarded a new team. Now what next now? What's the next level? Tell me now. What be your fear? Me? What's the fear? Fear now? Nah, nah. Let me meet the Miko. Miloski. Miloski? Now you get the swag, everything. <laughs> I don't feel you, my brother. At the end of the day, I had a pity. I had a pity and because at the end of the day, he go make himself a big fool. Because we, no matter what, we know say, Jari, Jari, Jari. Are you being Miko now? I'm being Miko. The greatest nah. Miko, Michael Jordan of our day. Are you being Miko? Now you got the nah. ball. Now you got the ball. Come on. Come on, free, free, free. Forget, forget. Now we, we, we get this game. My Lord Supreme, this nigga game stuff is more like a boys' car competition. Let's just forget it. We have a lot of things to do in this school. I mean, we have a lot of runs to tidy, undiscovered runs. Let's do away with it. You know, for I told you before, you need to think like a chess player. That's what you need to do. Anticipate the other person's move and make a move. Every move you make, you must understand builds you an opportunity. What is the opportunity in this one? A chance to fix our dented image. Our image is messed up, big time. And don't forget the people you meet here, the people you're going to meet out there, and there's a word after school. We need big business. But right now, we're bad business. You understand? This is a little chance for us to you know, got a little fame and fortune. Get a little recognition. Not only from the states, but maybe from the credit as well. You understand? And apart from that, the love of the game. I love this game. And I can take out any motherfucker on the court any day. Dude, we're men of the dark. And we always be. There's nothing wrong with a little light shining on darkness once in a while. So you'll be seen. You understand? Because what we do, everything that goes under, will continue to go on. Hmm? What we need to do is repair the surface a little bit. But, but uh, what I'm trying to say is finest. I don't know what your problem is. But you see this game? I want to play this game. I love to play this game. So if you don't want to play the game, man, just buzz off. What, what I'm trying to say. Why are you always negative? Huh? Why? When it comes to things that will raise your brain, your profile, you always want to back down. Why? Man, we love playing this game. I too want to play just for the fun of it. I mean. Then are we going to kill ourselves on this game? Let's just face. We have a lot of problems to face. Hey, 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 hey. shut up. Hear one more word from me. I'll play you like the game. Yeah? Now shut up and drink beer. My the love. only reason we invite you is to drink beer. Drink beer. Enjoy this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Kema. That's me. Eh, the Honorable Mrs. Kema of our constituency. You've seen her here live. Who the else? only female in the house. Who else if not me? <laughs> you are full of presence. Thank you, Chief. Mm. Mm. Hi, Chief Peter Moalo. Yes. The unshakable PTP state chairman. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> the only state chairman who knows how to select and not elect. Mm. You can say that again. Hey, Chief, yes. you did wonderfully well today. Believe me, I, I was just admiring you when you were delivering your speech in the conference hall. Hey, even His Excellency was admiring you. Really? Chief, you were like, mm. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of you. I really saw the man in you today. You know, leadership is not an easy thing. Uh, by the way, uh, madam, you did not come with your official car. What happened? 
And who is the girl inside the car? Chief, two questions at a go. Which one do I answer first? However, uh, my driver had an emergency call this morning. His wife has put to bed, so he had to run to his family to see them. Then I was left with no option than to let that my queen, my angel there, drive me down here. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You mean the girl inside the car is your daughter? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Mrs. Kema. Mm -hmm. So you have a grown-up girl like this, and you didn't let us know. You have deceived us so. You mean you can't recognize Nancy? Why she's grown that big? She's even in her fourth year in uh, University of Nigeria in Soka. Wow. Yeah. She's in her fourth year? Yeah, that's right. Why don't you bring her so that uh, I will know her? Sure. Let me call her to say hello to you. Wow! Okay. Wow! That's my angel. Come on, you son of a woman. Ah! My father. Woman of substance. Good day, my dear. How are you? I'm beautiful. This is Chief Morgan, our third chairman. It's nice to meet you, sir. My mother has said a lot about you. Hmm. That's okay, my dear. Your father was. Um, my very good friend. She also told me that you are in your fourth year in the university. Yes. I also have a son in the same university. Really? Yes, my second son, Solomon. You never mentioned him to me. What's his name, sir? Solomon Peters Moalo. He's studying political science. Yes. You might not know him because he's on the quiet side. And uh, very brilliant too, and uh, handsome. Yeah, oh. I haven't come across oh. such name at all. Chief, uh -uh. are you now saying my Dora here is not beautiful? I mean, check out, mom. My <laughs> angel. I know. I've already seen all. Uh -huh. uh, she has it all. Uh -huh. But don't just start. Don't worry, dear. One of these days, I will arrange for all of us to meet. Okay? All right. That was fine. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Kema, let me run along. Thank you. This whole thing is getting me worked up. God, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I mean, come to think of it, Nancy could be right. But why do I want to kill myself over something I know will not yield me any penny? Look at me now. I'm writing my project, but it is delayed due to my situation. I'm a student. And by now I should have my own apartment. But here I am in my father's house due to the lack of money. Nancy has been trying, doing her best for me. She loves me, but there's a limit to any woman's endurance. And I cannot depend on her for the rest of my life. Despite Solomon's arrogance and selfishness, He's offering me 500,000 Naira, just like that. I mean, money is money no matter where it's from. Mike, wake up and let go of your pride. Yeah, I think it's about time I act like an evil man. I mean, half a million can do a lot in my world. No, my image is worth more. Nobody can buy my conscience. Like they say, a poor man is not a man without money, but a man without dreams. And I have a dream. Solomon, to hell with your money. I need to make my people proud. The school has my confidence. And I will not take it for granted. This is my time. 
no inferiority complex and no divided attention. Yes. Sir, that your decision was very splendid. Mm -hmm. As soon as we separated the boys, both group started training vigorously because no one would like to be left behind. I knew it was going to be like that. So when are you embarking on your visit to the training grounds? That is why I've come here, sir. First, I will visit both captains to know when we'll come to the court. Oh, I suggest you do that first so as to know the level of our preparations. Yes, sir. We're not the only school getting ready for these games. Other schools are not sleeping. Hmm? In that case, sir, you have nothing to worry about. We've done it before. We intend doing it this time. And we'll do it again for keeps. Ah, uh, Mr. Ahmed, you sound so confident. What gives you this confidence? Huh? Sir, this is what we know how to do best. Why won't I be confident? Honestly, I'm grateful. I just hope your wishes will come to pass. They yeah, will, sir. I <laughs> uh, wish, wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, sir. My school fees, my feet, please take all, but please, spare my life. Shut up! Don't go making a fool of yourself to a miserable school fees thinking that we're robbers. I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm sure you really know who we are. No. Ah. Oh, you don't know us. I know you. I know you. I know you. Yes. I'm glad to hear that you know us now. And I'm sure you know what we are capable of doing on this campus. Look at this. This is a gun. If I pull this trigger, in less than a second, a bullet will leave this chamber and sink into your vital parts, which will cause you a lot of damage. And in another second, you'll be stone cold dead. And guess what? If you die, my brother, your girlfriends, your mother, they will all miss you because they will never see you again. Remember, your degree exam starts in two weeks. So imagine the frustration that you're going to cause your parents if you die. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Bruce, please. What have I done wrong? Please. Tell me. I will do anything you ask me to do anything. Take me from Mike. I'm pleased from the preparation of this new guy competition. Failure to do so. This is my one name whose prophecy will come to fulfillment. One more thing. If you ever dare tell of your experience tonight. You apply number six in Mala Street and so science will be your case. Speak no evil. Hear no evil. And see no evil. <laughs> yes. I beg you now, I beg you in the name of God, please. Mike, listen, I didn't come to this school to play basketball for crying out loud. I came here to study. My parents tell me come play basketball. I came here to study for God's sake. Please, leave me alone, let me be. I don't understand what in the happen. Mike, nothing in the happen. I say just leave me alone, please, I want to be. Now that competition is so close, you want to back out? Come to waiting, Mike. Now? Come to waiting. Mike, listen, the only competition I know right now is my degree exam, my project, my defense, everything. And they're all disturbing me. Mike, leave me. I just go beg you. I didn't come here to play basketball. I beg you, free me. You don't be the Ben where I know. This is not Ben. I go full flesh and blood. I just go beg you. Mike, I will cut security for you if you don't leave me. Leave me alone. Listen, so what happened to all the encouraging words you were telling me? Say, we go win, we go play like this, we go swagger here, we go the... What happened? Encourage waiting. Mike, listen. 
All this thing when I they talk, you need to enter your ear. In fact, I know your plan. I know your plan in this school. Your plan is to make me have a stride here, bro. That is your plan. But you don't go work now, you don't fail. Mark, you don't fail, you don't go work for you. But leave me. If you don't leave me, I cost security for you. I just go beg you. Leave me alone! Can I have a word with you, please? Okay. Come sit down. Here I am. Yeah. I've been expecting you to tell me what you discussed with Chief Morello the other day you met with him. What we discussed? Yeah. <laughs> well, Mom, we said lots of things that day and I can't remember which. About you meeting up with his son who is also in your school. Oh, that. Yeah. I remember. Mm. So, uh, have you been able to meet up with the guy? Have you been able to trace him to school? Mom! Yeah? The man said lots of things. He was joking. We all laughed about it and it's over. Nancy, Chief Moalo wasn't just joking. It wasn't a mere discussion. Now listen to me. It is not what life make out of you that matters. But what you make out of life matters a lot. Chief Moalo has been a great friend to this family for a long time, even when your father was alive. So uh, extending this friendship to both of you, both you and his son, it's not a bad idea. What do you expect, Mom? I dress up, go looking for this boy. You and I go to his parents' house and begin to search for him because I'm desperate? No, no, no. Don't no, no, forget, no. you promised no marital issues until I'm done with school. I am not saying you should marry Chief Moalo's son. No. What I'm saying is for you to get acquainted with him. Make friends with him. Who knows? One thing could lead to another tomorrow. No, mother, no. Nothing is leading to another. If to make you feel happy, I could go with you to his father's house to see him ah. just to make you happy. But nothing is going to lead to another. That's my angel then. Don't bother. Can I go now? You can. Thank you. That's my angel. That's my friend. Ah, no! No <laughs> Oh dear. <sighs> hey, Piroski Petiti. Hey, Mama. Piro, what's up, man? I just did. That what's happening? A day like Billy Go, I don't enjoy like that job. Piro, you don't start again with this your yard. You. Now what for you? Piro, what's happening? This is what you were reading here. Man, is this assignment of a team? It really gives me a problem. But yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. I'm just looking for a conducive place where I can know what I will achieve one thing like this before going back home. Yeah, it's all good. We all need it. You know? But that means uh, you're not coming to training ground today. Training ground? Yes. Is there any training today? Piro, what are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you've forgotten that today is the first inspection of Mike's team and that of Spremo, 4 p.m. Oh, so now today they go show us the team we're going to represent for this year competition? Yes! Yes! My guy to be too tough. Too tough? Very good. At least make me know what in this Supremo of a guy if you do. Yeah, it's obvious. Mike is going to deal with them. Troy is not about carrying women, driving big cars. No. Um, but I promise you, guy, Supremo will face a disgrace today. And that is why I want to be there by myself and witness the whole thing happening. Bro, you know what's up, yeah. I'll meet you there, Millen. There's no problem. 
Fine. You know, it's all about money and chasing. Should you know that? Mike is my person, my man. So I can't afford to miss it. That's what he said. All right. What is the meaning of all this? Oh, so you have been fooling us all around. The competition is around the corner and we have only one team to show for. Woo! Whereas Let's we will go. have prepared right. two all the way, from where all the way. we'll get one for the competition. Well done. Well done. Mike, I am disappointed in you. I'm sorry, is there, is there a problem? No, no, it's all right. You are Let's a disgrace to woman. Right, right, oh, let's, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Please, sir, there is no need to be hard on me. We've been working since. There has to be a problem somewhere. Charles, call them now. It's, it's not connecting. Please, sir, there has to be a problem somewhere. Hold on. Mike, you cannot deceive me. So stop all that false pretense. For over 45 minutes, you've been dialing the numbers of your voice. Listen, smart boy, academically, morally, mortally, and age-wise, I am your senior. So you cannot deceive me. I can see that you have planned to disgrace me before the management. But I bet you, you can never succeed because I am smarter than you. Sir, with all respect, I know you're smarter than I am. You're an elderly man and I will not try to disgrace you in front of management. We've been working hard, sir. For the past two, three weeks, we, we know we haven't even been training. Seriously? We've been training, sir. I don't There's something wrong somewhere. You know I'm a very hard-working student. So? So I think we should put our heads together and, and, and solve this issue. Solve what? Mike, that you fail to prepare your team for the competition. I can sense something here. You have collected money from the other school in order to bring them to the top. What? Sir, that, that is impossible. Sir, I'm a bona fide student of this campus and I will do no such thing. I can never take money from anybody to sell my school. This is my game. This is what I love doing. I sent this school two years ago. And I want to do the same again this year. I can't sell them out. That's not possible. Tell you what, Mike. Betraying a confidence imposed on you is like a double-edged sword. Try never to take anybody for granted. See, I can see why you don't want to compete with the other guy. Just look at the guy you are condemning. Look at him. Look at the guy you are condemning. I'm Just sorry. look at it. So is there a problem? It's all right. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you can go back to the court. Mm -hmm. I work with your team alone. You work with your team? That's right. That's how we do it. We know you but they need to leave the court so that we can yeah. we'll run them out of the right. Get out of this place. Right. Right. Get out. I feel the original, I know they are fish. Come on, I'm like to imagine what. Get out of this I love the game, but they just won't let me play. Brothers, sisters in the building, we're gathered here to celebrate our success. When we said we're going to do this, the Dalton Thomas said it wasn't going to be possible, right? Woo! Fuck them. I say middle finger to all my enemies. I've said so many middle fingers to them that I wounded my finger, but I don't give up. We will bring that trophy here right yeah. and celebrate some more at the end of Nougat. Anybody that don't like it, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah. Because we run this thing, it's a mafia oh. team, man. Come on. So here's the idea. You guys should have seen the Dino students have been groveling before, was trying to shake hands with two hands. And before then, was trying to beat the man. We run this campus. We decide who goes out, who goes back. So, F the world, man. That's right. My guy, you have anything to say? We. The original, not the official. Hey. 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 Willa, 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 I will lose. Hey. Every finest on his pentacle to vibrate to the Lord Supreme. Hey. Hey. Out of your SS credibility, SS characteristic, may you walk like seriously. May you walk hey. basically, may you walk like a man. Hey. 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 It's a mafia team, man. You don't like it, blood clot. We run it over, man. With the movie hey. team, man, who won't care? Hey. So I say to all the sisters in the building and the gangsters in the building, where's your motherfucking <laughs> And that is why my teammates didn't show up on that day. Please, I'm asking for a second chance. I know for a fact that somebody is plotting something. Nobody is behind anything, Mike. Or rather, put the blame on your voracious quest for money. Mike, you of all people collected money to frustrate your school. I didn't collect money from anybody, sir. I now believe that saying. Trust nobody. Sir, what you are saying is new to me. I have not collected money from anybody. My school has been my dedication and my team, my, my priority. And that's all I've been doing since training with the team. For the past two years, I've been training with them and I know we're going to go for the competition, sir. I'm, I'm just asking you for that second chance. I'm sorry, Mike. There's no second chance. Continue with the school that bribed you. Nobody is too important. With or without you, the competition will hold. And I promise we'll do our best and come out tops. Thank God. Solomon Peters is also a very good material. Sir, Solomon is not a better player than I am. Please, sir. Please. Sorry, Mike. When you came into this office, you made me very busy. And I am still very busy. So if you don't mind, that's the door. Please, sir, I need this. I have a passion for basketball and I know I can do this, sir. Please, please, sir.
Ricky baby. <laughs> Best play, yeah. Best play. Clap now. Yeah. Bow now. Yeah. You know the bow? Yes, yeah. Look at your ass now. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Dude is pathetic. Yeah. Well, look at your ass. Oh, you still got your green thing going on. Oh, I see you got a lemon thing, man. Oh, man. It was orange last time. Now it's lemon. I offered you 200 grand. No, better still, I made it 500. No, but your crossbreed ass had to be all that and torn it down. Look at you now. You see? Who's laughing now? I run this campus. I haven't owned you. I decide where you go and where you stay. Should have been on the winning side, you know? My <laughs> love. You know one thing? <laughs> this Opaka is so much constant conference. Now <laughs> I'm <and> forever. <laughs> but hey, anytime you want to know how the game is played, I want you to come by the court sometime, if you may, and see Lord Supremo do his thing on the court. That's how it's done. <laughs> All right, Crosby, later. <laughs> Bye, baby. The Lord Supremo. <laughs> Mike, you told me you were going to be having lectures at this time. What are you doing here? You have to take it. I mean, this is not the end of the world. I love you so much. And I hate to see you like this. Please. Let it go. You have to. How would you feel when you woke up one morning and your dream has been shattered? How would that make you feel? Something you struggled for, you practically toiled for, to make it a realization. And then suddenly, it's taken away from you. Do you know how painful that is? I know. You have to let it go. That is life. I mean, who knows? Maybe that's God's plan for you. Perhaps he wants you to let go of the Nougat games, let go of basketball, and just face your academics. Basketball is my passion. I know. I love the game. I know. That's what I do. I do. But sometimes in life, you have to let go of what you love the most for other things to work. Maybe this is just part of it. Please, Mike. I beg you. If anybody disappointed me, it's Ben. Ben has disappointed me so much. I'm so hurt that even Ben will walk away. Anybody can disappoint you. Except God. I beg you, my love, please. This is devastating, I know. But you have to let it go. Just let it go and move on. Please. So, Solomon, how far have you gone with the boys? Hope you are preparing very hard because the competition is drawing nearer. Ah, uh, nothing to worry about. We're doing everything we can. I think we are progressively moving forward. You know? We'll bring back the trophy. We'll all come back with this one. At least I believe that. Yeah, actually, I was misled by someone. Even though that I was smart, I would have been totally misled. Well, I thank God for that. Well, sir. So, um, this is for your support and all you know, appreciation. Just twenty thousand for four. Oh.
Fica essa cara pra você! Fica a bunda! Fica a bunda! Fica a bunda! May you walk and never to stumble. Casca to my friend, I fear in this India. I cannot see myself again. The God of us are no longer wise. I cannot see the reason why only few entities now attend generations. It is under calamity. It shall never become cave. The fallacies are not in may you walk. So skumbulum aju. So pray, Commandium. On the credibility list to what? And if this thing shines again, I will, I'm ready to decay any entity that first I uh, interact with our uh, Genesis like that. So pray, Commandium. Joke na joke, joke na name of my obey, like that. There is one or seven generation we have in this Ilya DD. And we are migrating with this kete kete. So pray, Commandium. In as much as only few entities are gathered, but the general remains that few are called, many are chosen. And okay. when two or three are gathered, and Ilya is formed, we must migrate to that Ozebina. If Ozebina lost the border, the Mamrado has decided to interact with soil science and number two Imara spirit. And we are going to migrate to the fa family and show our sympathy comradically. So pray, comrade. Yes. Not minding our fewness, may we migrate to this Ketekete with all our drummises so that we generate and interact with Ebi Ozemena Kuru. So pray, comrade. Yes. Migration a time. Migration a time. Migration drum me to. Drum me sees a shine. A B finance of this year. Where you work, Mabanke? What is not the case here to my fellow Blanco like that? You have not been interacting with generations again. Now. Your accountability is now on that monkey. What is not the case here to my fellow Ojodu now feel like that? Even to the last time we migrated from Ozemina via A B Ozemina's uh, Mamrado, who decided to join our soil science. The mother died and we attended the better to uh, demonstrate our solidarity. You were missing in action. You were not there. Keska to my friend like that, I vibrate again. Now, what is dividing attention from dedicated activities in Kegai's club? My, my, my chief to apply to my cool. uh, Out of my SS credibility, nothing is taking me away from credibility, my chief. Chief, you know school, you know school program, assignment, quiz, one cannot even plan his way. Vem la bouche! Assignment, quiz, jealousies, blanco. <laughs> Wazu, pa, pa, pa. You have decided to add your assignment. You know I'm a medical student. Every father, you know I'm a medical student in this area. And you know how difficult it is to study medicine and surgery in any high institution in the world. But still, I combine good academic grade with this club, with dedication. And you are here telling me, I said, I do, don't I do SM, don't I do practicals, don't I do clinicals? May you walk and about to stumble. Kafere, try and see reason with me. Nyoko push my reason. Walk, which reason? May you walk and about to stumble. Walk and about to stumble. I'm a chief. A chief is under more. And I am smelling that you are now made in Akewe. You are now made in courtism. I can decode it. Walk and about to stumble. We are all in this area. I have decoded your credibility before, but let me fire. You know, we, you cannot combine courtism with Kegai's club. It shall never become came. There must be a differential equation of the integration between Paul and Popo and Barabbas and Banana. What can never to stop? It is either it is Panadol or it is not Panadol. There's nothing like it is, it can shine Panadol. It can work like Panadol. May you work. Kegai's club remains Kegai's club. You can't combine the two. It's either you are in Kegai's club. Or you are the other way. Out of my sense credibility, I am AB finance, Akaiva Paparazzi, comrade of this area. I can never try any Amakoya. If someone should do that, not certainly not me. Not AB, AB finance. It's a Kademus fellow like me, Atola. What's bad? Well, okay. 
May you walk and never to stumble. As a chef, I will continue to vibrate. Aluta continue like a data. But let me tell you, Gagas Club remains social cultural club. Gagas Club is not a cultist club. It's not cultism. It is just for the promotion of African culture. And nothing more. Our motto remains unity in diversity. And we must continue in the midst of shining foreign academic uh, educational uh, uh, requirement. We will continue to promote Africa so that our fantasies, tradition, cultures, and morals will not go down. That is Kegai's love. But the only thing short of this, I can never tolerate in this area. May you see danger and apply caution. AB Finance, one can never to stumble. May your son never resemble your landlord. Tikadema Wabonki. Wabonki Tikadema. To be for one is to be for may you walk. I have seriously landed. My, my, my chief, well, my, my chief, well, apply to my my chief. <laughs> Honorable Mrs. Kemwa. Yeah. You can say that again. You know, Chief Anthony Chukura was a very good friend of mine while he lived. So I said to myself, I won't want this relationship to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I was wondering, I mean, the whole house. You live here alone with Solomon. What about your wife? Well, my wife lives in the States with the rest of my children. I just have Solomon here with me. <laughs> but even at that, staying with Solomon is as good as staying alone. You know, <laughs> men and their ways. <laughs> They hardly stays at home. Oh, boy. Yes, and um, we're coping. So we don't have very much problems. Uh, let me see. Ah, solo boy. Let me see where he is. Are you still here? That's his tower, Ah. Uh, uh, hello. Hello, son. Where are you, son? Oh, at the gate. Please rush in now. <laughs> he, he said he's at the gate. Yeah, you will soon be here. <laughs> Here he comes. Hey the solo. Big Papa. <laughs> Nancy, do you know each other? With all due respect, sir, please, I beg to take my leave now. Why? Nancy! Nancy, come here! Nancy! I'm gonna try that son. Hold a minute. Nancy! Mike, you cannot continue like this. Okay. If somebody should ask you right now why you've stopped coming for lectures, what will your answer be? 
Will you say because you were denied the opportunity to participate in this year's Nuga competition, that's why you stopped coming for lectures? Oh man, that is stupid now. It doesn't make sense. Huh? Nuga is nothing to compare with your academics. Yes. Mickey, Mickey, you just have to carry on, my man. Carry on. Where is my respect? Where is my respect? Where is the pride and the respect that I've so worked hard for? Lost? People used to look up to me. Look up to me as someone. Now I'm nothing but a disappointment. How am I supposed to face the student body? How am I supposed to face them with such shame and disgrace? What do you expect me to do? Mickey, I will be your shade. Yes. I will share in that shame and disappointment with you. What are friends for? Why am I your friend? See, there's this popular saying that goes, every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. All we need to do is just hope in God. I believe that God is going to see us through. Okay? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> hey, come on. Let me see that smile on your face. Huh? <laughs> so, I hope to see you in school tomorrow. Huh? Yeah. That's good. I have to be on my way now, man. Hmm? I'll see you tomorrow in school. I'm feeling Lee, my brother. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Charles. Hello, Nancy. Mike, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I hope you remember what tomorrow is. What about tomorrow? Forgotten? I told you my brother was coming back from the UK tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's just escaped me. I'm sorry. I remember. What are you thinking about? The Nuga games again? No. No, I'm not, I'm not thinking about it. I'm fine. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Between you, okay? Pleasure, <clears throat> what? Oh. 
Hope you prepared me. Yes, my I did, but you are not eating anything. My no, no, God. no, I have to eat, okay? Come in. I've been on this chips and bananas no for long, food okay? for you. <laughs> Let's all go inside. I am so <laughs> embarrassed. Give me the way. Give me the way. Go in and do like that. Are we all? Why would I improve? Am I not a woman? Michael, my man, I have a full woman, my sister now. I know. Mike, do you go for morning jogging? Yes, I, I go jogging in the mornings, but not every morning. But I usually play basketball every morning. I, I, I just love the game. Okay, that's you. Why do you ask? Uh, I was wondering, thinking of us going for morning jogging tomorrow. You certainly need it. I do, I know. I know, okay? It's not a problem. I can meet you up somewhere. I can go. You can come up yours. Yeah, I can I see nothing but failure. Sorry will be our names at the end of the day. And if I may ask, when did you become a soothsayer or rather a prophetess? Are you a novice in this school? Haven't you seen what the school management have done by dropping Mike that has made us proud all these years for some fool called Suprema? Hasn't it occurred to you that we are going to lose this time around? Because dropping Mike for Suprema it's just like dropping C. Ronaldo of all people for Rashidi Yekini or Chelsea for Rangers. It will work now, how bad? <sighs> that. <laughs> you won't cease to amaze me. Come on, girlfriend. I think what they did was right. When our own Michael Jordan left our school, went to some other school to collect bribe for them to become their team leader. What are you expecting them to do? The management was left with no other option than to go for the available Supremo now. So don't blame them. I know what he did is not a thing. But that Supremo guy, I just dislike him. Don't like him. He's so proud. Doesn't even have respect for women. This fine boy is deceiving him. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you're not dying for this guy. You're not even up to his class. Hello, Jennifer. You don't suffer. Which guy? Supremo. Trust me now. If you were to be the only guy on this planet, you would not see my pants. Trust me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Which Supremo are we talking of here? This Supremo I know. Oh, girlfriend. Supremo is the hottest guy on this campus. Oh yeah. And guess what? What is point one use you and your pants do? You they wear this string. See this girl. <laughs> See, some people have seen different sizes, different types. So I don't see what he's gonna use it to do. I bet your wall at the go. Oh, yes, I thought you were going to say yes. I don't know you you just leave Jerry. everything for them.
Huh? Thank God we are here at last. I never knew you had this amazing strength. So, so why is it you don't play for any club side there in Nigeria? Ah, uh, you know Nigeria is more focused on football than they are on basketball. It's not my fault, man. But wait, wait. Do, do, do you have? Do you aspire to go further after your university education? Yeah, man. I love the game. I just love NBA more than my law profession NBA. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. I have this white friend of mine that stays in New York that owns a basketball club or team. I think I'll discuss it with him, okay? That would be cool. Oh, okay. NBA, that would be cool, man. I would like that. For now, I think we should be going, man. So, will you drive? Are you strong enough? No, 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 just drive. We'll see. I mean, come on. and take something cold? Uh, fine, fine, I... Wait, 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 wait. You need something cold to figure yourself, okay? Uh, well, maybe water. Whatever, okay. Now let's go. I'll go with you. I'll go I want to tell you say, Madam, don't come back. When? Never tell you say. Thank you. That's good, okay? Of course, I have to go. No, wait, wait. Let's go see my mom, okay? Let's go meet her. Let's go. Hey mom! Hi, what is it, my darling? How are you? I'm cool, mom. Yeah. So how was your trip to Tarabas State? Fantastic. Hectic though. But in all ways, thank God for his journey, Mrs. I still look this beautiful. Ah, thank God. I can <laughs> see you in jogging. How many kilometers did you did you cover? Wait, 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 wait. We drove down. A... Wait, Mike. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> this is Mike, okay? He's a student that loves basketball so much. And we're jogging together. Hey, good morning. I thought I told you never to come here again. Come on, get out of here! Mom. I said out! Get out! Get out of my house! Stop it! 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 Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, dear. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, sure. Come on. I know you wouldn't resist me, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Mommy, there's something I'd like to ask you. Shoot. You don't, you don't like seeing Mike. What has he done? Oh. When Nancy told me the last time you pushed him away the same way some time ago. Wilson. Yes, Mom. Have you actually taken a closer look 
at that boy? Yeah, yeah, mama. I, I, I mean that ragamuffin. Oh, mommy, come off it, mom. Just come off it, mom. At the children of an honorable member of the State House of Assembly. Oh, you go again. You should not be seen with that kind of boy, that despicable, wretched, irresponsible skunk like that boy. Willis. Yes, mom. You should actually be seen with children of your own class. I mean high class children and not a punk like your so called friend, whatever you call him. However, to me, he looks like a thief. Mommy, he, he is not a thief, okay? No, listen, Mommy. Mm -hmm. In this life, there are two ways to greatness. Tell me, my son, tell me. Mommy, some are born great. Mm -hmm. While some others achieve this through hard work and perseverance. Really? Mommy, the fact that Mike comes from a poor background doesn't make him a thief. He's not a thief, Mommy. He's not one. Willis. Yes, Mom. If you don't mind, excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Mommy, you, you asking me to leave? Sure. If you insist. But Mommy, I still insist. He's not a thief, okay? He's not a thief. Please keep your greetings to yourself. Have you seen what you've caused? The shame and disappointment you've put me through? What is it? I don't understand what you're talking about. Take a look at this. This is the check you made me collect. And now I have sold my conscience for money. All in the bribery from that week as called called Supremo. No, 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 no. No, 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 Saint. Please, watch your tongue, okay? And stop saying all those things. Talk to me in a language I understand. Please. Sky, if you must know, Supremo gave us a bounce check. No, 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 please. Just hold it there. You know it's not possible. Come on, it's not possible. You know that it's not possible. Come on, don't talk to me like that. It's not possible at all. Come on, no. How come? Huh? It's not possible, man. Come on. Supremo, no. you will not go scot-free. the game, but they just won't let me play. I love my girl, but her mother wants me to go away. I'm running hell to skelter, running all over town. Every time I show my hand, there's a man with a gun to shoot me down and a What's a poor boy to do? No place to hide, nowhere to run to. If this is a dream, I want to wake up. Micah, I'm, I'm actually sorry about the way my mom treated you yesterday. That's all right. I'm, I'm used to that thing by now. No. I mean, every human being, no matter their social status, deserves a little respect. You can't be like this forever. That's right. Mm. Well, that reminds me, do you have an international passport? No. Why? Yes, that, that's okay, okay. Oh, you take this and get yourself an international passport. <laughs> thanks, man, thanks. I don't, I don't mention. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. I'll be traveling to the village to be back in three days' time. Are you, are you going with uh, Nancy? Me? Sit in the car for five hours? By road? No, no, no. Just forget Nancy, okay? I'm, I'm traveling alone. I'll make sure I get the passport before you come back. Just make sure you do, okay? I'll see you then. You should! Sir. I wouldn't mind being expelled from this school after you just listen to what I'm about to tell you now, sir. Go ahead. 
it is true that I collected this check just to betray my fellow students, sir. My conscience beats me every now and then. That is why I've come to make this as a confession to you, sir. I was given this check by Supremo just to denounce being a member of Mike's team so he can achieve his aim. What? Young man. Sir. Are you sure of what you are saying? I'm sure of what I'm saying, sir. As a matter of fact, Supremo masterminded the plot of Mike's frustration during the first inspection, sir. My God! I can't believe this. You mean Solomon is behind all this? Sir, you had better believe me. I'm very, very sure of what I'm saying. In fact, you can use this as an evidence in case he tries to deny it. I'm a controversial <laughs> subject, you know. Everybody's trying to blackmail me for because of my obvious wealth, you know. What can I say? <laughs> blackmail, it's, uh, it's the order of the day in this school, so I, I want you to know that. Because to what end would it be for me to bribe somebody? As bribery so that I can lead the team to know the game of their stats are Solomon Peters. Yes, sir. I ask you for the very last time. Do you know anything about this check? Sir, and I'm telling you for the last time, what I know about that check is blackmail. Somebody copied my handwriting, probably forged my signature audaciously, and um, I could see it as a fake forgery, of course, but um, all the same, it's Mike, you must turn your focus on Yes, it should be the subject for scrutiny at the moment. Mike actually tried to take bribe from another school to lead their team to Nogan, but of course we followed it before it came into the open, but I'm not one that talked too much. Do you know this young man behind you? I can't get it, Mr. Ahmed, that you of all people could do a thing like this. Sir, it happened when you were away to Canada. And so? Why did you wait for me to come back? Sir, as the Dean of Students' Affairs, it is my duty to correct students, more so that competition is fast approaching. Now, have you seen where your decision has landed you? Huh? Have you? You single-handedly disqualified a young man who has brought laurels, who has brought honor and glory to this school simply because he made a mistake that could have been made by another person, including yourself. By the way, why did you not investigate in details Mike's case, the way, the way you're investigating this check issue? In fact, sir, the whole thing is getting me confused. Why won't you get confused? Why won't you? Huh? I've told you that students are handled with care. You don't just run them the way you are running things. Now let me ask you, if you wake up one morning to see that you have been demoted and relieved of your duties, how would they react? I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Mr. Ahmed, students need to be handled with care. I've told you this several times. You're on this campus and by now you should know the way they react to things. They don't reason the way you reason or I reason. You have monitored, you have been, you have watched them conduct their, their elections, their student government elections and all that. Huh? As far as this competition is concerned, we cannot do without Mike. So, look for him. Ask him to see me. Alright sir, but um, I'm not seeing him for quite some time now. Mr. Ahmed, you look for him, get his phone number. No matter how you do it, I don't care. All I want is him. All right, sir.
Mike Levigua. Yes, I mean Mike Levigua. Yes, this is the VC of the school. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, hello, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to speak to you, sir. I want you to meet me in my office now. There is something very important I wanted to discuss. No problem, sir. Like now? Like immediately? There is something very important I want us to discuss. Okay, sir. I will, be, I, will, I will be there as soon as I can. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'll be waiting. Hello? My guy, how far? Boy, Nikki. Where are you doing now? At the roadside. I did come. I just spoke to the VC. He said, May I come? May I come see him? Oh, boy, now what's now? One year you be that. Begin the falling inside campus. Sharp Yankee, Sharp Yankee. Uh, I believe it's for the better. I was the one that gave Dean your number. Yes. Just the falling, the falling. I go there behind that uh, lecture room. Uh, yes, yes. All right now. I did call. No problem. No problem. I did call. All right, later. What's wrong with the car? I don't know, man. We need another car. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Look up for a car. Look up for a car, okay? Please, look up. If you see a car, signal me. Go, Supremo! Yeah! Got a company! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, Wilson! Oh, Mike, you know him? No, no, no. No, you know him! I don't know him! I don't know him! He knows the thing. I don't know him. I don't know him! I don't know him! Listen, man! They stopped my brother. They shot him when they realized he knew Mike. Why did they abduct Mike? The leader of the gang, Supremo, that's his name. He had some issues with Mike while they were preparing for the Nuga games. He had promised to deal with him. Your story is not well cooked, young lady. It is better you advise your boyfriend to turn himself in instead of running around. <sighs> Officer. My brother died. I don't have a reason to cover up for him, but you have to listen to me. What I'm telling you is the truth. That is the truth. I'm so confused, Betty. I don't know what to do. I mean, honestly speaking, sentiments apart. 
I can vouch for Mike. Mike would never commit such a heinous crime. He's harmless. Well, the question is, how? I mean, just how do I convince every other person that Mike is innocent? How? Nasi, how would they believe you? How? His passport was found at the scene of the crime. And he was also present at the scene of the crime. Okay, if he's truly innocent, why not present him, let him defend himself? That is the point. I am a...